Good morning. Is it good morning? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Since we've started with good morning. But actually, it's noon. Like some minutes just past noon. It's almost not past noon exactly, but it's almost 12.30. And from the title of the video, today will be my last day in Bayonne. It won't actually be a full day because I'll be leaving later in the evening at around 5.30. But I'll take you guys with me when we get there. However, now uh, we're going to have lunch with my friends at the Chinese place. I feel like now we are regulars. It's just been two times. But I feel like now we are becoming regulars. And so I'm walking there because... At lunchtime, the restaurant opens from 12 to like to 20, meaning you have limited time to eat. But it's the time that is the cheapest, it's 12 euros. But Gioni, it's 17 and it's open, I think, from 7 to like 10. So you see, so now it's upon you to like the time you're arriving is what is, is what will determine how long you're going to eat. But yeah i'll be with my friends now we'll, we'll have some good time eating of course and then i'll take you on like yeah how the day goes by how the day goes which is nothing much since i finished packing meaning just be going back to my room i think doing the final <coughs> final cleaning as we as, ah, the river. Just passing by the river. Yeah, doing the final, not necessarily cleaning, but just tidying up so that, like, the person who is coming to now do, like, the whole thing finds an ample time, like, throwing away what is not in. Yeah. Anyway, that is that. So, join me. And. For the last day in Bayon and yeah I think I'll take you guys also in the evening as we head to to Paris because I'll be taking my flight from from Paris back to Nairobi back to the okay so beautiful but yeah back to today's on Wednesday so yeah, you'll see this video like way later. But yeah, it's just keeping like a short journal or diary, like a video journal on how the the whole trip will go. And if there's anything interesting to update or to see. But yeah, actually close to the restaurant, so let's go. And and eat <laughs> show you guys my luggage. <laughs> this is me. This is me. 
I even have my the slippers there. Let me tell you the story about these slippers. So we were just with Natasha. The Kawaii Lagoon she was supposed to take. She was supposed to take these slippers. But when I was cleaning my room, like after we ate, I was like, no, let me change and wear the slippers. And then by the time they were leaving, I was like, oh shoot, I still have the slippers. Like, okay, I think I'll put them like in one of my carry-ons and then I will exchange because I'm taking the bus uh, at 5.30 to get to Paris at 6 in the morning. And my flight is at 4, at 4, at 4 in the evening, meaning I have the whole day there, I think. Like just to, to free my legs, I will. I will I will remove, I will do what I will wear my I will wear the slippers but yeah I'm actually using the bus because I'd have opted for the train but if I take the train it doesn't go straight to the airport you get like I'll have to stop somewhere get out with my luggage the way you've seen how my luggage looks like and change and imagine I'm alone and I think I'd have I'd have like two stops which and yet to me it's not making sense Indeed, it's faster but it's not making sense whereas if like the bus I've chosen I specifically choose the bus that goes directly to the airport and I am not changing meaning like I'm not stopping at Bordeaux to to get off and get into another bus you know like it's going straight like even if it has stops on the way it's still the same bus up to the airport meaning now it's just the stress of getting my luggage into the bus and i am already here and then after once i get to the airport it's getting the the trolley thing and well i put my luggage and we are good to go my my jumpers my i have like a trench coat and i think two jumpers <laughs> couldn't fit in my luggage so I've decided, hey, come on, buy and buy. I'll carry them on my hand. I don't know how that one will go, but I'll carry them. Like I will have, I don't know what light traveling is. Like I'm always having so many things to carry. So, but luckily, which I am very proud of myself, apart on the back, I am not overweight. Like E record, we are continuing to beat it. I'm not overweight. I actually, I am like two kgs less from like the actual kgs i'm supposed to carry like 23 23 so i think i have one is like actually 23 and the other one is like 21 yeah and i'm also glad that i'll be at the airport early enough meaning like there's no rush and i feel like it would give me an ample time even with the attendance like you see even with my luggage and nini like it would be easier to be given leeway other than like when you're late like you're rushing they want to close the counter and then it's it's hectic kidogo i think but anyway yeah so we'll be leaving Bayonne tonight this evening for paris hopefully to get to paris god willing tomorrow at 6 6 25 like almost seven let's say almost seven tomorrow morning i have the whole day at the airport to confirm any any documents if i need any tests though they said like if you're fully vaccinated you don't need any tests leaving the country or going to the country you're going to so if not if there is any signing of papers i'll have ample time to request them to print them for me so that i can sign and all those things but hey lunch was good we ate we even went back to my room and the girls took like a siesta so we are now good to go. They should have seen me parking a few days ago. But I, parking is not, I feel like parking is not my strength. If I could get someone to park for me and I pay them, eh, I'd be so happy. Like just at the end of the day, everything is packed and it's, it's good. But anyway, that's that. So the bus is supposed to come in like 20, 15 more minutes. Which is not a bad thing, it's better late than never because this passes you never know. Sometimes you feel like you, you're there, like you, you chelewa kidogo and maybe you don't get the bus or you... And with traveling, it's always good to be there early, no matter what. Like it's always good to be there early, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. 
like it it reduces the stress because if you're there early you're able to counter any like anything that can happen it's like it's good it just reduces the anxiety of traveling and all this stuff. and you're able to chipanga chipanga your things check what's there what's missing put your documents and your stuff together and yeah you're good to go anyway that's that so we'll enjoy like a few the last view of the river before the bus comes here yeah. now stopped in in Bordeaux like just next to the train station this is one of the stops however like we're not getting out it's just stopping so that other guys who are boarding from here get on and then we continue but I think the driver said we leave like at 9 so I think like there was like a 30 minute break luckily there's a public toilet where is it yeah, there yeah, where you see the the thing there that looks like some up. Like yeah, it was a public toilet. So I think most of us have gone there. And yeah, so we're good to go. No, why I said there's a public toilet, it's because yeah, this bus I think it's something they're trying. The blah blah car is um there's a toilet inside. Like all the buses have a toilet inside. But for this particular one you now need to pay like one euro for every time you use the toilet and i'm like i and the weird thing also is because the other time i was in the bus like the driver announced he was like if you want to do number two like you just tell us and then we stop like we stop at the next like, place for you to get so i'm thinking if it's still the same why would i pay one euro every time to just like to just pee so imagine like how many times you'll have because like the ride is like 12 hours how many times you'll have to pay one euro to like it doesn't make sense because anyway to each their own you have your own way of making money because you've already paid for the bus no but one thing that i like i have let me show you my bags they're just like at the yeah so the ones this one two three four which i'm thinking these two will be the hand luggage not thinking like these two are going for the hand luggage and this one and they don't charge on the number of bags you have meaning you can have as many bags as long as you've just paid for the bus then the other things okay but I saw for Flix bus I think they charge for like second bag those bags like you have like if you adding an extra bag you pay but this one didn't indicate the number of bags you need to have so come on come on so yeah i think it's time for us to continue going but yeah yeah this was like i think the first, i don't know if we'll stop again for other guys to come but mm -hmm. three hours later so yeah the journey continues at least i've gone to the list so we are good to go it wasn't like it wasn't that but like the normal you know the public toilet okay it wasn't smelling at least they put first music it wasn't smelling but the usual I guess ladies you have Mashida lake of guys being like on top of the, the seat but voila you, you know, sanitize and do all those nice things you see and yeah so in case you're using blah blah can you get to to Bordeaux coming from let's say Bayonne and you get to Bordeaux the toilet is right there yeah like france has like free public toilets like all over which they say like it self cleans once you're done but does it really self clean the seat that's a good question anyway that is all i had to say but and my nice hair was made by 
Natasha, I feel like everyone had a hand in this. So Natasha, Paul, Lydia, hi guys. So yeah, see you guys as we continue with the with the trip. <laughs>